Hi Aquarius, how are you? I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and it's nice to see you back. Wow, and I really do mean that my darlings. So let me know um, that you've seen the video by hitting the bell and subscribe if you're new. And let me know if you're the Cyber Angel um, that's coming back. Just give me a thumbs up. Just let me see that you've been in and following. Thank you very much for coming into the life. And I love all my faithful followers. Thank you. I do. I am grateful. I'm shaking the cards as you can see. Um, because I do have something to tell you. You most probably know you can win one of these decks. Brand new. That is the Shadowlands. And the competition video is up and running. And if you don't want to go through playlists or anything like that, then just go to charliesangeltarot.com and you can see it on the front page. Um, the, it is a competition making a vision board, not a visionary board. <laughs> um, I'm sorry I got that wrong, but my English isn't perfect, as you know. Okay, and I, I thought uh, it, you can use it. Um, and you can learn about it because somebody else did ask uh, what is a vision board you hear me talking about it um, to have something when you meditate or contemplate that you can look at or and manifest and stick it on your fridge or on a board or anything that you pass by several times a day well I've gone into it and you just watch the video um, just watch the video and join in in the competition and you can get if you win the deck then you can just give it away to somebody that reads cards or keep it yourself okay now um, I'm going to uh, please subscribe and share and like and thank you for doing that if you do and I would love to interact more with my cyber angels and viewers Okay, if you come into the live, I give away free cards and I also uh, do readings that are donated uh, with a super chat or a super sticker. Okay, now what do I think? Let me get into your energy um, for uh, this month and see whether it comes out uh, confirming with the cards. Okay, I think some of you um, are going to travel and I think some of you are very impatient you've had ideas that you want to put into practice perhaps dreams and I also think that you're going to get hear from somebody that you haven't spoken or seen to for a long time and this reading is for the first of June to the seventh first of all you have the high priestess you're playing your cards very close to your chest. You're keeping secrets. Okay. Um, like I said, you might be speaking to somebody um, that you haven't spoken to for a long time. and Or you haven't seen them for a long time. Uh, I think you are going to travel. Yes. That is what I see for you, Aquarius. That's the main points. Now. Uh, you have the five of cups wow what did I say you might see or speak somebody that you haven't seen for a long time somebody coming something happened in the past and you uh, might have been thinking uh, about that and see how you can flip it perhaps um, but don't cry over the past you can't change the past you can only change the present. Perhaps you might want to s go back to the past and speak to that person or see that person or they might be coming back. I know it's not the Six of Cups, but I still get that feeling and that you want to talk about it and see whether you can change something about it. You've got the King of Cups, so it could be with a Cancer, but don't exclude Scorpio or Pisces okay and you've got the ten of cups the ten tins <laughs> the ten of cups so that is happy families could also be a reunion and again you've got the crab there so cancer cancer is prominent in your reading wow and you've got the hermit 
Okay, now I'm going to also take the Mirror Truth Linamon with me and take that as a clarification card in this reading. Ah, yeah. Also, I get this feeling of heaviness. Heaviness. Okay, the dog. Loyalty, trust. And you've got the hearts. The hearts. So this has been, I think this was a love relationship or somebody that's very close in your heart. Very, very close. Also, I think it would is more likely to be a man than a woman. Okay, you've got the sun. Something is in the spotlight and something is being illuminated. Could be this discussion. Okay, let's have a look. I feel there's also secrets and they're being revealed. Snake. And the bottom of the deck a fox. Okay. Oh oh oh. Let's bring them closer into view. Okay. Um first of all on the first you start off with two so you are in balance and you are following your intuition your intuition is telling you something and you've got the book here of knowledge or she has the high priestess has the book of knowledge but she plays her cards close to her chest and she will only tell or let on when she thinks the time is right she is a very spiritual person this could be a spiritual person, a psychic, this could be a medium, this could be a priest, or this could be uh, an, an other woman that works with the alternative, okay, alternative medicine, alternative, shiro uh, no not shoropody, reflexology, I see feet, okay, so perhaps you might you might be the reflexologist or this could be a friend of yours um, and you do have high regard for her okay you've got the friend here so you might be talking to her about a friend or she might be your friend and gives you advice but this could also be you okay now you've got um, the ten of hearts the ten of cups here and the ten of cups there so I think you're talking or doing something with love but the dog is a friend a trustworthy loyal friend so happy families reunions uh, fulfillment emotionally and spiritually you're coming to an end and you're creating a new beginning perhaps with this friend okay and you've got 18, 9, 9, coming to an end, new beginning. Where there is an end, there is a beginning. There's number 1, number 10. Okay, so something is coming. Um, somebody, ah, you're going to find out somebody is a true and trustworthy, loyal friend and luck is on your side. I've also got a feeling, and this is not something that I get from the cards, but more my feeling that um, there might have been a separation. Um, this could be the Kovic, and that put you out of balance, but um, if that a friendship was broken, or something happened in the past, and now the truth is coming out. Okay. Perhaps the truth is coming out. Perhaps you, um, you're you mulling over it, the past. And this could be a love relationship. This could be a friendship um, that has finished. But I've got a strong feeling they are going to come back. They're going to come back. But you're going to change it. You're in the strength now. Uh, you can change the present and the future. So I think somebody's coming. I've got such a strong strong feeling and you've got the jack of hearts here or the page of hearts um, and you're going to hear get news from this person and it is hearts and you've got the uh, 
cancer there the crab and you've got the ten of uh, cups twice so I think they are missing you and I think they want to apologize because something the truth is going to come to daylight this is what I'm hearing I know it's a funny way of saying it but the truth is coming to daylight and look at the daylight breaking here okay you've got 24 you'll be back you you are in balance you are in balance like I said you're strong now you can call the shots if this is really going to happen for you then this is going to you are going to call the shots you don't want a repeat of the past that's definitely is it you're the monster now <laughs> you're in the power <laughs> and and that is on Wednesday it could be the beginning of the week as well it's just the general energy of the week okay and like I said cancer you've got the king of cups and the king of cups is cancer but don't exclude uh, Scorpio or Pisces and it, there's going to be a beautiful thing happening here the Sun is 31 means stability Four is stability proper foundations this friendship is a true friendship or a friend told you something about this 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 past thing that happened and it w might not have been built on proper foundations but this time round it will be it is time and time has healed okay and we've got two past two two minutes past two on the clock I don't know whether you can see it but the big hand is there and the small hand is on the two it's um, and there's a lot of wheels so something is intertwined um, it's done the rounds okay um, also um, yeah, it's done the rounds but I also it's taken time to heal there's a new beginning like I usually say and this could be a birth of a child or a birth of a project this could also be a birth of course the project being and uh, the relationship okay and you've got the ace of diamonds ace of diamonds so the diamonds are pentacles so this could be something that you can touch perhaps you might be moving home perhaps you might get a new job this could be a project okay you might be traveling to a country where there's warm weather you might also move you might buy a house it's definitely you're in the spotlight again something is in the spotlight where did I see that no it wasn't this reading something is in the spotlight and some you're in the spotlight and something is being illuminated this could be an issue that happened in the past you're not going to let it happen again that's for sure there could be new passion new love coming your way um, and like I said a new beginning it could be a cancer but it, I've got a feeling it is somebody coming back from the past and there will be new love it will be different because you've learned from the past and you're not going to um, take back the same issues from the past you're going to change you're literally going to do uh, what this card me is meaning to say to you change now change the 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 moment now and for the future the present okay I think that's what's going to happen you're going to be far more uh, emotionally in imbal balanced okay you're going to be really really balanced six you know what you want you're not going to let anybody fool uh, with your heart okay then we've got the ten of cups the now the ten of cups is happy families emotionally being together um, there might be an e extension to the family you might even find out you're pregnant if you're too mature for pregnancy then you might hear of a pregnancy okay you might become a grandmother an extension of the family it could also be a pet 
It could be a dog or a cat or a ferret, anything to extend the family memberships. Endings and new beginnings and they're going to be better beginnings emotionally. But like I said, you have learned from the past and I think a friend has um, told you something that there is a snake in the grass or somebody was a snake in the grass and perhaps you had an argument perhaps this wasn't a lover that you broke up with it was a friend and you broke up because you didn't want to believe what they said and you've got the seven seven is on a luck is on your side and you've got the queen of wands here and she goes for what she wants okay she might want a house because there's an extension in the family coming or parents might come and live with you your family but there is a snake in the grass so be careful that if you're for example if you're renting a property that you are allowed to uh, have uh, somebody coming to live with you for long term sometimes it, uh, you're not allowed to do that when you're renting okay you have to ask permission but you're going to go for it but it could also be the Queen of Wands the Queen of Wands is Leo but don't exclude Aries or Sagittarius but you could have the energy that you're going to go for what you want but this person could also be um, venomous okay they might be tricky so that that could be it as well but they are very direct because they go for what they want and perhaps you had an argument uh, with this friend in the past and you didn't listen to your intuition you didn't uh, listen to the red flags that were cautioning you okay and again you've got the two worst cards you know you've got number seven luck is on your side and you've got the fox they were where they were a fox or they were a wolf in sheepskin they were pretending that they were somebody else when they were only sly and, and conniving slimy slithery and that friendship came to an end okay and this is the nine of clover so that's the nine of wands okay perhaps the other side is if it's got to do with work because the fox also has to work very very precisely to catch his food so he's very quiet he's very precise he's very dynamic he's very analytical and he's very swift it's like the snake it's also swift it just jumps up at you okay so be careful of people like that don't let that person come back into your life okay that's the red flags Look, here again you've got the queen of wands and um, Leo is the queen of fire so it could be a Leo okay so be careful So, um, be careful for untrustworthy people, but also be careful of this queen because she is very direct and she might have helped you in the past saying don't trust that person and you didn't listen to your gut feeling. Okay. The dog is the Ten of Hearts. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. We've had that. That's beautifully beautiful again um, you've got the hermit again a very spiritual card because he meditates contemplates and he does listen to his intuition and he learns from his wisdom he follows the light he's on the right path so you're on the right path nine an ending um, but he evaluates he throws away what is of no use to him so that he can travel and keep on traveling light so listen to your intuition and evaluate before saying no I don't believe that 
if somebody if a friend says be careful that person you can't trust think about it put feelers out put a test out try and test the friendship of certain people make sure that they are trustworthy just give them some uh, private uh, information that cannot harm you and then see what they do with it whether they um, uh, go and gossip about it or tell somebody else for instance so be careful there okay so something went wrong there sorry <coughs> okay now for the romance card let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others in other words if somebody tells you something listen to your intuition and let them help you don't get over exhausted okay and now I also see the Sun this could also be moving your relationship up to the next level either in love or at work so you'll have to work to be precise to detail cross your T's dot your eyes okay Ooh, deep reading and your angel feather let's have a look Ooh, that's too many I'm using them so much that the guilt is coming off the gilded edge and you've got restored health and healing what did I say like a restored friendship most probably perhaps you're out of sorts because you're five so somebody might be coming back from the past that's what I'm keep on hearing and you've got emerald green angel feather restored health and healing the healing angels have heard your prayers for improved health they send healing rays of green light that will give assist you or a loved one to heal physically or mentally now that could be a friend okay it could be a friend but it could also be you I think it's going to be you that's going to be healed and like I said you're stronger because you're going to do you're realizing that you're not going to take anybody else's BS anymore and definitely you're going to listen to your intuition and warning signs you've learned from the past beautiful I hope you've enjoyed this reading Aquarius please 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 show me that you've been in the tea room by giving us the thumbs up and sharing with family and friends and I hope to see you on in the life Monday Wednesday or Friday or all of the nights take care be blessed and enjoy the beautiful sunshine ciao ciao